So I've just come out from having breakfast and someone has stolen the swivel seat. They've taken the seat base and the swivel. That's London. We only have two days left to finish building our van, which means we need to get through all the tiny little odd jobs that we have just left and abandoned. The UK has been in a heat wave for about six weeks now, anything from 25 all the way up to about 40 degrees. So the van build's going very slowly. Monday is the first break in the heat wave, and so we're gonna have torrential thunderstorms and downpours of rain. That is as much heat as I can take. Back to our little oven. Oh. Such an oven. To reclassify the van as a camper van, we need to put decals on the side. So we're gonna measure it up and then superimpose some on the computer and see which we prefer. So let's get the size. The floor is boiling. Why aren't you wearing shoes? 27, 23. I like this one. I think it's cute. I think that one. And I like that it's got the mountains and the trees. Where does it go? It will just fill that whole area. This? Hmm. Okay. So 27 inches is that part. And what size does the thing come in? What's the large? 28 by 26. Okay, perfect. So get that one. I like them. If I could have my own way, I'd cover the whole van with pictures of something. At least this way, we have to have one on each side. So I win that one. We are the outdoor squad. This is our seat bottom and Joe's made some weird triangle shaped legs to give it the strength to hold the weight of the chair and also to support the back. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> this is the design for our bench. We're going to have two of these facing each other with a table in the middle, kind of like on a train. We're going to have a big flat piece of wood here at the front and then our seat cushion. That looks all right. That looks very nice. That looks pretty good. We've left this size gap because our toilet will have to pull out of here. And then we can sit and take a plop. <laughs> I feel like a child. I feel like a child. We're finishing off all the little bits today, so painting the cupboards, building our chairs, and then we're going to fit our table as well. It's one of the final jobs, as well as the floor. So the squad is back, we're just finishing off all the painting. Jodie's painting the door, and then we're going to paint the cabinets. Whilst he does nothing, possibly should have painted these before putting them on, but you live and learn. Sorry Jill's towel, but... Oh, don't show this, your mum will kill me. What have you done? I spilt paint on the sink. If I hadn't told you, you wouldn't know. If you hadn't seen me do it, <laughs> you wouldn't know. I miss that sexy smile. This part looks a little bit ugly, so what we're gonna do is use the old sideboards from our bed. I've cut them to shape, and now I'm gonna drill the holes and then hopefully we can screw it in. Oh, is that your stomach? <laughs> I've just eaten a banana. Um, Jodie's just hoovered in here and it looks spotless. So I'm gonna try and keep it clean by using this so we don't get any metal filings. We're also pretty sure that Joe has developed carpal tunnel from using power tools. Joe is in the peak of his life. Okay, I'll hold this still whilst you screw it in. Drop it down. Okay, you got it in place? Yeah. Those people gave us funny looks. <laughs> How dare they? Maybe they think we're making an OnlyFans in a van. Oh, that's a good one. I'm dying. I'm so hot. It's like 10 degrees hotter in the van than it is outside the van. 
help me. I think I might melt. This is ice cream weather. Yeah, it looks good. Have we checked that the door closes in the right place? It used to go on top. Yeah, perfect. It's my bedside table. But you need to remember that I might have stuff on it because if you just open the door, everything's gonna go everywhere. What's next? It's about 38 degrees down here, but we've got it done. So now we have a nice carpet all stuck in. In most places. We're finally fitting our floor today, which I'm very excited about. We chose this lino because it's water resistant and easy to clean and apparently easy to put down. We will see. Hopefully that's just the amount we need. is all cut to shape we still haven't secured it down so we need to get some more adhesive spray and then once this is down we can place our chairs on top after that we need to finish building our electrical cupboard which covers up the inverter we need to secure the chairs and build our table and once those jobs are done I think we're ready to go we still have a few cosmetic bits to do here and there so this one will be walled off like a lift up door kind of thing and then we're gonna have shelves in this area so that we can store kitchen things and keep our phone away from the water from the sink. So that's our last piece of wood and then we've got all the wood on all the walls. The sap from our wood has left like sticky bits on the floor so alcohol is helping. Not me, the floor. We've fitted the Dometic fridge, so I'm quickly going to put this nice end cap for the worked upon and then we'll have a look. You know I love a bit of trim, this is magical. Don't know if I should tell him. We've splashed out a little bit on the Dometic fridge. It was £900 and another £90 to get it delivered. We've had it up to 30, 40 degrees in here and all our drinks and food are perfectly chilled. It's got a little freezer compartment which we can keep ice lollies and ice cream in. It runs on 12 and 24 volts. It barely uses any electricity at all. We haven't even noticed the batteries go down with this thing on. So the Dometic fridge for me is definitely a win. It is a compressor fridge so you do hear the compressor humming a little bit but it's not been too bad and in the night when you're not opening and closing the door it doesn't need to cool down any longer so it stays quiet. Nice job Dometic, I would definitely recommend. I'm making our blackout blinds, cut out in the shape of the windows, wrapping it in blackout fabric and securing it with glue and adding magnets. Let's see if they fit. But it's nice fabric, look. Got the blind made. If this works, I have to make two more. I've cut out a little square in the back so that the handle of the window can fit into it, which I think is one of the reasons it holds on, hopefully. Let's see. I do not want a Michael Scott joke, thank you very much. Is that in the hole? We will be adding window ledges around here and some trim around the top, so we might need to adjust it in the future, but for now, it's brilliant, right? See you next time. That's what she said. <laughs>